Hey Tori and friends, this week I wanted to talk about microwaves. Every household has one, but not long ago, 60 years or so ago, you would have to work in a restaurant in order to see a microwave. Once microwaves became popular, they became easily available for every household. And to this day, microwaves are the most energy efficient way of cooking food. Microwaves are an electromagnetic wave that excites water molecules. And the excitation of molecules is what causes them to heat up. This is why steaming things in the microwave work so well. The microwave oven is actually a byproduct of another technology, radar research from 1946. Uh, Dr. Percy Spencer, a self-taught engineer with the Raytheon Corporation, was testing a new vacuum tube called the magnetron when he discovered that a candy bar in his pocket had melted. He later went on to try the same experiment with popcorn kernels nearby and found that they had popped. And he had done the same experiment again with an egg and unsurprisingly it exploded. Initially microwave ovens were unfavorable and that's probably partially due to the price tag. A microwave oven cost $2,000 in its day. But soon vending machine companies and restaurants discovered that they could keep products refrigerated fresh until they were ordered and then heated. This cut down on wasted food. Other companies discovered microwaves could also be used to dry products such as cork, paper, leather, ceramics, and many other things. And by 1975, the microwave oven exceeded gas ranges and purchases. Originally, microwave ovens did not include turnstiles, but turnstiles were added so that a single microwave emitter, or a magnetron, could have evenly heat food. Incidentally, the middle of the microwave actually receives less microwaves, which is why the center of food is always icy cold. The edges of the turnstile receive the highest concentration of microwaves. A microwave doesn't affect organic molecules, but it does affect metal. The outer electrons of metal are relatively free to move around, and when the wave hits them, they, they get pushed and pulled around. Some of the electrons build an electric potential and are accelerated through the air where they collide with atoms in the air. This process creates an electrical storm in the microwave oven and sparking ensues. Uh, enough sparking creates heat and then the food can catch on fire and destroy the inside of the oven. This effect doesn't occur for very small pieces of metal like the staples of a tea bag because the entire width of the piece of metal is less than the wavelength of the, of the electromagnetic wave. That being said, I wouldn't try it. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much microwave history and science of. Hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to your video next week. Bye! There. Hold on a second. Can't hear me, can you?